Hey guys, thanks for watching another movie review here at Cinematics. I'm your host, Jordan Ross, and today I'm talking about La La Land. This has been one of my most anticipated films of 2016 ever since it was announced. I loved Whiplash, and I wanted to see how Damien Chazelle could possibly top himself. And against all odds, he accomplished just that. La La Land truly is a magical experience. I was grinning from ear to ear and tapping my foot throughout the entire movie. And as an actor who lived in LA, it definitely hit close to home. This film perfectly portrays the struggles and frustrations of trying to accomplish your dream in a city that has hundreds of thousands, if not millions of other people trying to do the exact same thing. It's exhausting and discouraging, but still, this movie manages to make you feel uplifted and inspired. Even if you aren't in the entertainment industry, you'll leave the theater with a new sense of determination after watching this movie. By the way, Damien Chazelle sure knows how to stick a landing and end a film on a ridiculously high note. Just like Whiplash, La La Land's climax was an intense emotional roller coaster. I also loved how La La Land was able to pay tribute to LA, old Hollywood, and the entertainment industry, while also serving as a bit of a parody. It was especially funny when it poked fun at the culture and lifestyle of LA. In those moments, it kind of reminded me of the really underrated Steve Martin film, LA Story. Then there are the two leads. Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone have always had great chemistry, but their two previous collaborations weren't exactly what you'd call great films. Apparently though, the third time's a charm. This is by far their best film together. Their chemistry is undeniable, and each of them gave really strong performances that could very well earn both of them Oscar nominations, Stone in particular. These two successfully brought to life one of the best movie romances in a long time. One issue that I had was that the supporting cast didn't really have much to do. Specifically, I wanted to see more of J.K. Simmons and Rosemary DeWitt. I feel like their talents were somewhat wasted. Still, both of them gave solid performances, even if they weren't in it that much. In a year where musicals made somewhat of a comeback, La La Land was definitely the best of the bunch, and it may have successfully breathed new life into the neglected and forgotten genre. Complete with great performances, beautiful music, stunning art direction, and gorgeous cinematography, La La Land leapfrogged Arrival as my favorite movie of 2016. Believe the hype and go see this film. I give it nine and a half stars. Anyway, what did you think of La La Land? What did you think of this review? Let me know in the comments section. Also, be sure to hit subscribe, like this video, and follow us on all of our social media accounts. Thanks so much for watching this movie review. Until next time, I'm your host, Jordan Ross.